Hi everyone, today we will understanding the secret of exposure offset in gamma correction. We will go from the very basic what is exposure offset in gamma correction from start to finish. So see you. We will be using this image for understanding the exposure offset in gamma direction. And before starting anything, let me uh, explain, uh, show you this document. Actually, we have this tonal values gradient uh, that is to the left of this image. And we have this completely white uh, color that I added extra for just for your understanding. Before understanding the exposure adjustment offset in gamma correction, I just want to understand what is brightness value of the color. So if I click on this color box, you can see here when I, uh, let me just show it to you. If I st start to select a black color, now you can see how this is selected. You can see here, uh, also focus on this heat, saturation and brightness. When I start to change the color, you can see here it's also changing the colors. So if I am using here complete black, it has a zero degree of hue and zero percent of saturation and zero of percent of brightness. So it's obvious that black color has no brightness value, so it's completely black. But if I start to drag this towards the right, this uh, color picker you can see how the brightness is start to get increasing and you can see how the at complete white it is 100% brightener so it's obvious that white is completely 100% brightener so the same concept is also used here so if i select this layer this color of box of rectangular now it's not rectangular square when i click this you can see how it has a brightness of zero percent it has a 10 percent it has a 20 percent it has a 13 it has a 40 and it has a 50. now although this has its own role in adjusting your images but mostly we use here the 50 percent and the shadows and completely black so once you select a complete uh, the uh, the 50 percent it is called me tone value of the of the image so it has a brightness of 50 percent and also it is called a 50% gray. Now if you were about dodging and burning, you might be probably filling the layer with 50% gray, which is again the same thing uh, allows you to uh, targeting the metone values. And if I start to click on this, it's 60%, it's 70%, and it's 80%. This 80% is called a highlight, and if I click on this, it's called a white. Now it goes something like this. It's completely black, dark, mid-tones, highlights, and then completely white. Now this dark is also called a shadows. So now that you have understand uh, what is brightness value, now we can understand the, the exposure adjustment. Uh, Now I'm going to create this layer non-destructively by clicking on the adjustment icon. You can also create here from this layer and then new adjustment layer and click on exposure. So let me just create here and the exposure adjustment. Now we have these three options. So this option the has its own specification and everyone has own role to adjust a specific tonal value of the pixel of the color. So when I start to drag this export towards the right, it will only affecting those pixels which has a tonal value between 10% uh, between 0% and 100%. Now by the way, as I said, this completely black has a tonal value of 0% so it won't affect it else the other tonal value would affect it. 
Now if you want to res reset this, you can click on this icon. Now what about uh, the other tonal value? Now if you are not sure, uh, um, when you click on this color box, uh, this tonal value is not limited to this area. Every color that you see has a specific tonal value which is called a brightness value or luminous value is also called. You can see here every color has its own brightness according to Photoshop. So now that you understand what is exposure, now what about offset and what is offset? Offset allows you to target the black area to the white area. Now it's actually adding a fade effect towards the towards the black pixels. For example, if I start to drag this, you can see here it's only affecting the black area towards the white and adding this fade effect of nice 50% of gray. Now how all this exploring because there is no specific value depending on how the image it is when you start to adding offset you would notice that it start to giving this fade and fade effect to your image by the way if you are not sure you can also add this matte effect easily by dragging offset a little bit and give this fade effect nice since already it has applied this matte effect so you can just apply this so offset is allows you to adding this 50% allowing you to wash out uh, to washing the pixel and converting the spectral into the brightness value of 50% and in this case it's converted the black into 50% of tonal value or the brightness value now let me study it again and what about gamma correction Now gamma correction is also called a mid-tones value correction which targeting the mid-tone value. Now what does that mean? So gamma correction allows you to targeting the mid values, the mid-tone value, mid-tone means the mid value, mid brightness values and then give this darken effect. So it darkening uh, the mid values mid tone values and leaving the rest of complete white as it is so this is how it's actually work so in this case you can see here if i reset this image let me just close this to you you can see how this image is already a fair effect so you can see how this fair effect is a mid tone value so when i start to drag this towards the right you can see how the image fade effect start to get reading off so we can just little um reduce this fade effect from the entire image now you can also see here uh, we are affecting this area and leaving this white area as it is so it will affect the only the to the highlight points uh, in this gradient bar and leave the white as it is and also you can see here uh, it's leaving this completely white on her shot so and targeting only those areas which has a less than 100% of mid tone values. Although you can see here, uh, it used to uh, wash out uh, to reduce the washing effect, uh, to reduce the fade effect from the entire image. So it's just used for that. You might say this gamma correction is available everywhere in Photoshop in every almost in every adjustment. Now I'm talking about the popular adjustment which is level adjustment and curve adjustment. Now let me show that to you. Gamma correction is also gonna meet on correction as I said. When I start to drag this, you can see here the flat effect, the flat effect start to reduce. So let me reduce this and invisible this layer. And if I go to adjustment, I can click on level adjustment. If you're not sure about layer adjustment, how it actually work, you can check this video right here. Now you can see here this black area and mid tone and this white which is highlighted. So this is called mid tone, which is called gamma correction. When I start to drag this towards the right, it's creating the same effect as it was before an exposure. So it start to reduce this 
fade from fade effect from the image and also if you are uh, let me just delete this for you if you are a curve lover by the way i'm a curve adjustment lover you can just click and this icon if you are not sure about curve you can click right here although i have explained a little bit shortly not complete in detail but we will talk about them in later now if i start to drag this towards the right it's giving the same effect like this so they are the pretty much the same thing except of it is unseparated adjustment so how you can just easily affecting this um, you can see here uh, this has a tonal value of the same color like a 50 percent mid tone value so it affecting those areas and leaving the white as it is so that's complete our tutorial so i hope you guys learn about what is exposure option game aggression and learn the basic of it now if you if i missed out any of little information you can leave them in the comments below now that's it so i hope you guys like this if you like make sure to give it a thumbs up now just thumbs up, click on subscribe button and ring the bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos and if you have any suggestion you can leave them in the comments below i will reply as soon as i read them so see you peace out